It is uphill, which, well, it's perhaps a bonus. Uh, I'm not going to take that. I don't think it's a true 11 inches up, although it is, but it's kind of 11 inches to that slope, and then it, it goes down, so I'm going to have to... I'm maybe only going to take it Maybe a bit there. Uh, slope. Kind of does come back. Oh, come on. Oh, that's putting stroke. It's really starting. It's really starting to do my head in it. It's what happened the last few tournaments. Just needs to keep it steady here over the putt. Headed for a handful of them. That's a bird, eh? 13th hole now. It's a dog leg right wow. par four. But that, that is a difficult hole. That, 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 it's easily one of the, the most difficult holes in the course. One of the most difficult and also one of the... I dare say the easiest. Potentially it should be like... Yeah, it should be easy as pie, but it's... It's so wow, difficult. If you hit the green, if, you, if you're going for the green, you've got to get that to top get section the same here. as the pin. Avoid those ridges left and right, or their mounds, should I say? Um, that bunker that's well placed in the front of the green. Obviously, you've got to carry that, but uh, this one you've really got to keep it in line with the middle of the green. Um, if you if you hit the green, you've got to hit the top section, or the same level as the pin. Oh, that's a horrible shot. That is horrible. Uh, if you don't, if you hit the the bottom section and you've got that uphill putt or vice versa, whatever way the the pin is, it is an absolutely hor horrific putt. Uh, to get it close is just wow. I mean, you would be better playing it short with an iron uh, and then just pitching in and getting it. Relatively close. Right, seven foot up. I reckon that's about another. Too long. Too long, old boy. It's coming back, though. And he's made it onto the green. Yeah, we're actually running short time here. Not a formality either. Three inches down. Now that's the first bogey of the day. Just a couple of feet. Minus three now. Do it around. Frank, now to the 14th hole. And this is the fifth consecutive par four here at Chambers Bay. And by this point, the players will know whether they're on their game or off their game. At 546 yards, uh, this hole can be shortened considerably if you choose to take a brave line down the left side. You can chew off as much as 70 or 80 yards. But once again here, because the hole bends to the left, you've really got to know which direction that wind is coming from. That's a good start to the hole, right down the middle. All right, Frank, what's the play into the green here? Well, this uh, the green's got a little bit of a funnel effect. Uh, general contours slope right to left, and you know, towards this green, uh, there's a little bit of a ridge and some mounding. That way, although uh, that slope's right, going to uh, just use those cut it in back in a little bit. You know, the ball's going to do what Mother Nature wants it to do. You don't have to fight it. Just getting my normal club, I think. Yeah, I see the wind. 
Wow, too big. Oh dear. This is a long putt. Really, the key is the speed. If it drops, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at that putt. Jeez. Bad wag putt there. Speed wasn't bad on that long putt. <coughs> wasn't very good. Needs this or par. Knocks that putt oh, in for par. Not bad. At good two putt there. At last yeah, you can't really. Long putts in this course are just. See putt territory. Uh, it's so difficult, and this and this is another difficult par three long. Uh, uh, the Hence the name of fifteen. It's called Lone Fir. Not overly long, just a little short hole. Um, but in a U.S. Open, obviously they can play it at around two hundred and fifty yards. Uh, it's just a fun par three. But check where that flag is, because uh, sometimes three is a good score here. But an easy flag position, and then go straight at it. It's too big. It's way too big, isn't it? Well, bunker's okay. It's not the end of the world in there. Just a little splash out on this par three. 95% wins 7. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's up there with the brakes. The sound too is wonderful. Good use of the bounce. And yep. uh, look like they were trying to hold it. And getting ready for the putt. Three under on the day. Well just like one bogey. We were four under part. Now to the three yeah, we're still with a three under. This was opening round, this would be this would be the, the makings of a, a really fantastic round here. Been slightly to the right, <coughs> there's a huge bunker all the way down the right side that sort of starts, I don't know, maybe about a hundred yards off the tee, goes all the way to the green. You go right, and then you realise why it's a good drive. Cool. Now this hole, if I remember last year, I probably had, ch had a chance, I think I drove well, and the approach shot was just terrible, I think. Like did I make a bird there? I can't remember. But I remember one year I just misjudged it because well there you see the wind's going that way, the slope's going that way. Obviously it's a it's a short par four, so you know that the And there's the Mythbusters uh, tank exactly implosion. If MD likes Mythbusters. And you can see uh, it slopes dramatically from left to right. That has to be taken into consideration. Get a couple off it. Oh, I see that's that's how you put it because I think I put it in the bunker. Oh, I see, just I mean, that's not bad. I mean, that, being off the green's not bad. I can, I can always just chip. Well, chipping could be good here. Could be good. Could be good. Ooh, dirty rat. <coughs> Almost. Almost. There we go. Get the part. Frank, you don't need just a caddy out here at Chambers Bay. Seems like you need a sports psychologist. You start thinking about the names of these holes. Beached at, at 16, and what's 17 called? Derailed. And, and you can see why, too. That green's perched up there. Um, if, you, if you've got the round going in the wrong direction, this is not a hole to start on. So um, if you've got a run going, it's just a, a good tee shot that lands around the front there. This and, wind uh, is quite strong. Here. This is not a time to be a hero. Just gonna put a little bit extra on it. Oh, 
Oh, so 13 man, it's going to kill it. Oh, that's just horrible. Oh, dad, that was... I just didn't flick it through. The ball was a usual deal, I just, my finger almost shoved it. Right, we need a good escape here. 26 yards to the pin, 7, so we're going to have to... Right, let's accommodate, 92%, so we need to be at least... ...that for the wind. Roughly, got put for part. Oh, it's kind of a little bit of a slope. Oh god, it's quite a big slope actually. These last, the last holes just seem to always bring up some bad shots. It's uh, you know, we're still two under par. I mean, oh, so again, that's oh my goodness, that's horrible. I think I've drove as bad in a round. Alright, Frank, second shot. Yeah, right, there's no way we're like, see. Uh, just take maybe half a club more than the distance uh, distance allows. We're now just not reaching this green at all. Don't have to fly the ball all the way to the flag from here. So that takes that kind of out of the equation. It's not the end of the world, but I mean, driving it, it's been bad this round. Yeah, a no couple of loose ones. Frank, you want to finish with one good swing here, the approach shot to the 18th hole. I don't think there's a flat putt on this green, Rich. Uh, you know, there's so many different sections. That, that we said the course was like a maze. This 18th green can be like a maze. Um, if you're on the right portion, then obviously that certainly helps. But uh, there's so many different levels to this green. Used to be what they call a commercial oh, see. From that distance, you really need to be like pin high, almost like stone dead. That's a bad shot. That is a terrible shot. And we've run over again. We just have to miss holes here. We can't. Got to be a little careful if it gets away on him. Couldn't ask for much more than that, except to make it. Just five feet left. Oh my goodness. That one got away. Oh, I don't believe it. Oh, what a way to finish. Finish with a final score of sixty. Three bogeys in the back nine. Absolutely terrible. Overrun my time. Took forever. Well, that's going to conclude this video. Uh, really bad, bad finish. Just that, that this about the last seven holes. I need to sort of keep my composure because I'm really losing a lot of shots on that. This one from Chambers so guys, Bay that's the Wednesday practice round before the US Frank Open. Noble I'd be happy at one under par, to be honest. So I would take that any day. So, well, once again, thanks for watching. Hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. It'd be greatly appreciate it. And I will see you for the start of the US Open coming up soon. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.